Okay, um, welcome to my MZ. Um, so this is the MZ I purchased a couple of weeks ago. I've been slowly pulling bits off it and having a little poke around just to see um, what I need to do to it really. It sort of ra it runs, it ticks over now. I've adjusted the carburetor, I've got the plug, sort of like a, you know, a brownie colour. Um, it would run nicely through all the gears. The only problem I had was it wouldn't um, do maximum revs in top gear. So I believe it was a mixture of crappy fuel, sediment. Um, when I pulled this off, the actual reserve hole there, this was completely caped in brown sediment. Wasn't much fuel in the tank, um, so I assume it was just volume of fuel. It couldn't get enough fuel in the carb. I've had the carb off a few times. Got a little split in here as well. So maybe it was air, don't know. Anyway, this is what I've got. Um, the, the wheels, the wheels are okay. The spokes have this, looks like a chrome on them that's come off and rusted, but the wheels are okay, the hubs are okay, the forks need painting. Um, I was gonna get the light binnacle done, repainted, along with the tank, which I've taken off, and one side panel that I've taken off. And there's the original owner, well, not the original owner, the original supplier, Jim A Motorcycle, Sybil Hedenham Essex guy I purchased it was well he was in Chelmsford and he was well he was the friends a friend of the original owner that bought it um, and anyway yeah more more of that in a minute um, so yes it runs fine um, the frame what to do with the frame when I took the tank off I had all this I had all this corrosion so um, do I powder coat it or do I just rub it down? This, this isn't really seen, it's not seen. So I could rub it down, some of it's seen. Swinging arm there is in better, better nick. Um, anyway, um, side, sta side stand, center stand, rear foot pegs. I broke the indicator. Um, six volt electric still, um, come around this side. I've had a little polish of the casings, but I think I need to restart that with a, a finer grit of wet and dry emery to do it. Had a little clean of the cylinder head. Um, original mileage. I put about nine miles on it, test riding it the other day. Has a quirky key thing. That comes down like that, and then the key goes in and forms part of the light switch, believe it or not. Um, which is really weird. Um, I'll put it incorrect. There you go. Um, and then obviously you'd use the steering lock to lock the bike, I guess. Um, so yeah, that that's pretty much where I am with it. Um, any ideas which way I should go? I was going to just repaint all the panels new, repaint the mud guards, respoke the wheels, clean and polish the odd little bit here. Frame, I'm not sure about. Um, but here's the tank. The tank's pretty good. It's got a little little dent here, there. But apart from that, it's pretty smooth. These bits are covered up with these glorious chromey panel side covers with grippy knee bits. Um, you can't see it on this one. You can see it there. It's kind of corrosion on it, and I couldn't get it out, so I've got some new ones of them coming. The seat is in superb condition, and it has this really cool little bit there, cubby hole which has the original torque it. Um, so that's the bike. I took, I did take the exhaust off because I did, somebody said it could be the exhaust is coked up. That's why it's not holding maximum revs. So I did take the exhaust off, which I have here and I decoked it. I put a hot air gun one end and then I used a blowtorch to heat it up. Hence the, the bluey pattern on it. Smoked like a big fat cigar, two smoke for like 40 minutes. When it stopped smoking, I then plugged the end. I filled it with caustic soda, got nice and hot, 45, 50 degrees. Got rid of that, done it again. And then where that tape is, it then sprung a leak. So the chrome is all, the chrome or whatever it is, is come off. It's not particularly very good shape. Be a good second bike, pipe, second pipe for the bike. 
if I welded that up, maybe painted it black or something groovy. But um, I was just going to put it back on the bike to see if that's what it was. I don't think it is. I think it was just lack of fuel. Um, but there you go. This is the MZ TS Trophy Sport 250 Super 5. Five speeds or slash one. Um, 1981 vintage. Uh, one owner. 639 miles now. So do I do it to an A1 standard? You know, everything mint or do I do it as not as not that um, maybe you know just more just a, a functional bike I kind of felt I needed to do it original um, and you know what am I going to spend on it to do this um, my budget really is a thousand pounds to do everything um, so that's the paint the wheels and the frame and the mud guards um, what I would be farming out. I was thinking of maybe doing the mud guards myself, see how I get on here. Um, and if I get a good result with them, maybe have a go at everything else, tank wise, bodywork wise, myself. So, to my 22 subscribers, if you're interested in the MZ, tell me what your thoughts are, what you, what route you think I should go down um, with my little um, East German project. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll value your comments. See you in the next one. Bye.